vortex. You're never gonna believe it. I'm on my period. Isn't that crazy? It comes as a surprise every fucking time, y'all. It really does. Mainly because you know me. Fancy free. What does that even mean to be fancy free? Carefree? Laid back? That's definitely me. I mean, I'm a really passionate person. I'm actually really, really serious about a lot of stuff. And that's why I do stand up. Because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be talked about that isn't being talked about at all. And there is stuff that, that is being talked about that I agree with, but the way that it's being talked about is just not effective and it's just frustrating because like it's like I agree with all these people but the way that they're talking about everything is not conducive to getting anything accomplished and so you know I'm pretty much in a constant state of annoyance um, with, the, you know, the, just the way that, that people engage, it's, it's not effective. It does nothing but serve the, the person, like, momentarily. And I've noticed that people are, are totally fine with that. You know, the, the reason why people say really hurtful things in the moment and they don't care is, is because people say all kinds of stuff in the moment and, and they don't care. You know, people say, I love you, and it doesn't mean anything, you know? Like, I was thinking about how, like, you know, gays have hijacked the word love, um, much like feminists have hijacked the word choice. Republicans have hijacked word freedom. Um, and so people don't have any idea like what these things actually mean anymore because they're associated with politics. And once you associate general concepts that, that people should be able to, to comprehend, but once you once you introduce politics to those things and you make it about um, a particular political view, you know, such as abortion or, you know, gun rights or whatever, then, you know, people just lose sight of what, what that actually means. Okay. 
and I think that if you want things to be fast, it's not going to be efficient, you know? girl that I work with, she, she asked me to talk about this. We got into an argument yesterday about what, what is consensual. Um, cause apparently that the 17 year old girl was in a relationship with this guy who was a lot older than her. Now the girl I work with, she told me this guy was 40. That's not what it said. I looked this up cause I always look it up. So she got her details all kinds of screwed up because this dude's 27. I mean, it's still somewhat significant age difference. There's 10 years there. She's technically a minor in the state of Tennessee. So she can't consent technically. But apparently he, her, he, he got, I think it was like five different counts of on one occasion, on one occasion, I, it, it just doesn't make sense. So either she told me the wrong thing or there's not enough information about it, I don't know. But when she told me, you know, she, she was like, oh yeah, there's this, this 40 year old cheerleading coach or something and he uh this 17 year old girl and apparently they were in a relationship and the parents uh turned him in or something and basically and there were some other people that agreed with me too because they were like yeah you you make your own decisions when you're 17 like this whole idea of like a 17 year old being so innocent that's just ridiculous but, you know, the power dynamic. The power dynamic is really the issue. Because when somebody is in a position of power, that's the issue that they've had, like when the whole Me Too thing re-emerged in 2017 after Trump got elected. Um, that's the thing that was the most controversial aspect of it. Like, this idea that, oh, men have so much power over women. Men can do whatever they want to women. Um, here's the thing. All that women have to do is just say that something happened to them. That's my issue. That's why I always take the side of the dude. Because I know that the justice system is not very nice to men, okay? Well, think about it like this. I don't look at it like it's discriminatory. And the reason I don't look at it like it's discriminatory is because the more that you zoom out and the more that you look at like all of these situations and, and you apply gender, you apply race, um, sexual preference, it's like, it's very clear that the state just wants to screw people over and they don't really care about victims. Now, Tennessee and, you know, the more Republican states, they're a lot stricter about, you know, sex laws and shit like that. You know, sex, abortion. I mean, that's a good thing. That's to our credit, I think. But it's like when people, when people want to just jump to the conclusion that, that somebody did something bad to somebody else, it's like, how do you know, though? How do you know that, that they didn't want that? So I guess the real question is what is consensual? Like, what does that mean? I mean, yeah, he should have been messing with her. That was stupid on his part, but he is a, he is a guy, you know, and guys are really stupid when it comes to women. That's like the story of, I just spit, I just spit, did you see it? Um, it's like the story of why the world is such crap is because <laughs> men are stupid and they end up with really bad women that screw them over and women are weak and end up with really bad men that, that either beat them up or threaten them or whatever you know 
I see that on both sides, and then, you know, of course, both sides were like, no, no, it's, it's just them. It's never me. It's never me, and it's never people that remind me of me. It's never me. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. This, this lack of responsibility, you know, everybody's just running away from responsibility. So just blame these people, blame this person, blame this policy, blame government, blame the country, blame this other country, blame <laughs> this religion, blame this generation. It's just like nobody wants to be held accountable for any motherfucking thing. But the thing is, we were talking about how like younger people seek attention from older people. And, and that's how pedophiles can get away with it, is because they exploit younger kids. Like, I mean, I guess it just depends on what they're into, right? So, some of them will exploit like a 12 year old, but here's the thing though, is a 17 year old really exploited? This, she's one year away from, from being of legal age. And, and I told her that this, this girl that I'm talking about, like that I work with, I told her like, look, if it was just one year later, like he wouldn't be going to jail. So I, I think it's more of a technicality issue. Like I get the whole power play thing, you know? I had a professor that tried to kiss me, but you know, I was 24. But he was still, you know, in his like 60s. So you can talk about age, you can talk about gender. You can talk about the state. But it's like, yeah, the state screws people over. That's what that's what they're for. They're not here to like protect us and help us and not poison the shit out of us and lie to us every second of the day. No, that's that's not what they're here to do. Okay? <laughs> I just don't have any faith in the system. So whenever the, the system does something that, that could possibly be interpreted as, as a good thing, it's like, it still doesn't matter overall. Like just because you have one example of what looks like justice, that doesn't mean that justice is a thing that they believe in. That just means that they're really good at gaslighting you, you know? So, My state's pretty good, though, when it comes to, uh, you know, putting an end to uh, stuff that's not good for kids. But here's the thing, the dude, the dude apparently, this girl at uh, Premier Athletics, okay, so... He took advantage of her, let's just say that. He took advantage of her. Maybe let's just, we should just eliminate the word, okay? That's what we should do. We should just eliminate it. Because much like the word racism and Nazi and life, okay? <laughs> Doesn't mean anything. Words don't mean anything anymore, okay? Like the language, when people use certain language, I'm like, don't care. You know, because I can tell that that certain language is being used in the media and certain language is, is being repeated by people that, that are dumb enough to, to pay attention to the media. Okay, don't say dumb, don't say dumb, gullible. They're gullible, okay, gullible. People that are gullible enough to read the, the news media and actually believe that bullshit, okay? They're the ones that are tugging on everybody's heartstrings by using certain language. I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna write down like a list of words that I've seen recirculate in the media to try to get people all riled up. My personal favorite is whenever they talk about conspiracies. What's the number one word they use to describe conspiracies? I've done a joke about it. I think I've done this joke like twice. 
I say every conspiracy is about as baseless as the United States military occupations. <laughs> That's a pretty good joke. That's a well-rounded joke, too. But short and sweet, right? Baseless. Another baseless conspiracy. I'm USA Today, and I approve this message. But, uh... Yeah, so, so, so let's just state for the record, we don't agree with people being taken advantage of, okay? We don't agree with that. But, I don't think that situations are ever just one person's fault, okay? Um, and I just don't like how women are always painted as victims. But you see this a lot with, with you know, uh, females that have, um, you know, a position of power, you know? Like teachers, guidance counselors. It wouldn't surprise me if librarians were um, taking advantage of students as well, you know? I think that it's way more common than what we realize because, you know, it's most, most of the time people don't report this stuff because they don't want to. They're afraid to But the girl didn't report it, apparently. It was her parents. So I was gonna say earlier is that a lot of the time, you know, uh, a kid is seeking attention that they're not receiving from their parents. And so they get real excited whenever an older person pays them attention and they see it as a compliment. But I mean, like I've stated, 17 now? 17? I feel like you're old enough to know what's going on. I'm not saying it's impossible for somebody to take advantage of you. For somebody that's considerably older. But I, okay, so when I was reading this, hold on one second. Listen to Miles, I'll be right back, okay? Gotta, gotta get my shoes. But, um, I'm trying to say. I totally forgot what I was trying to say. It was such a good point. Oh, oh, you were reading another story. Yeah, so this always happens. Whenever I read one story, I end up on another story that's way worse. <laughs> um, apparently, the same uh, athletic uh, place, so Premier Athletics, um, in Knoxville, which is about three hours from here, um, somebody, an, an employee, was taking advantage of another employee that was a lot younger, or something. Um, only it was boys. So, uh, molesting them, raping them, I don't know. Oh shit, I, sh I said the word. It's okay. It's okay, we're not monetized. Um, I know that's, that's a, that's a bad word right now. I've noticed a lot of people are like censoring themselves. Yeah, so now we can't even say the word rape anymore. People people get freaked out about that. Just just the word, just the word freaks people out, right? Would that make sense though? It's like you can't even say the word, but it's so easy to lie about it. You know? That that's why I am so skeptical because yeah, it's super easy for people to lie. And it's even easier for women to lie. And it's even easier for everybody to believe the woman when, when she's lying. 
okay? But, I, you know, I'm not going to say... Because, I mean, I know it's a, a really sticky situation, so it's like, if I were to say, oh, well, it's, it's her fault or whatever, like, you know, that's not very empathic, you know, blaming the victim. Uh, but... <laughs> A lot of the time, though, I don't victim blame. I victim disclaim. I, I don't think a person is a victim all because they say that they are, you know? Mainly because that's just not victim behavior. People that are, like, legit victimized don't ever want to talk about it. And... I mean, like, when that shit happened with my professor, it was like, I didn't want to talk about it at all. My mom knew that something was wrong with me. Like, she begged me to tell her what was going on. I didn't want to tell my friends, like... It was something because I knew that I put myself in the situation too. So I knew that I was at fault. Somewhat. You know, he was definitely in the wrong because of, of the power dynamic. But it's like I met up with him outside of school. I thought, hey, we're going to meet in a public place so nothing bad will happen. But my instinct told me not to do it, but I did it anyway and I thought that I was wrong. I thought that I was, you know, judging him and, you know. I had a really, really good therapist at the time, though. I didn't really think much of her until she told me this. But she was like, I'm not trying to blame you for anything that happened, but you knew going into this situation that it was probably not good, and you still went anyway, and you you were obviously right in your instinct, and you need to trust your instinct. So, so yeah, like when I've talked about, you know, any time that I haven't trusted my instinct, I always regret it. My instincts are always right. Um, that's why that's why they're instincts. It's like internal. Like there's there's something that I feel that is wrong. So I mean logically, logically it's wrong, but it's just sort of a gut feeling. And I know that that's kind of risky to tell women to trust that, considering the fact that women are, you know, nuts. So they're all about feelings. Oh my god, where is my hat? I know that I have a hat. Do you though? Dude, that's crazy. I, I had them. I had my hats. And now they're not here. This makes me so mad. Oh my god. They've got to be here. They have to. They have to be here. I know, I know they are. But, um, yeah, you know, I used to be really into older guys, but, you know, I didn't have a very good relationship with my dad, so that's, that's why. Let me tell you, that's typically the reason why. So, so yeah, if, if the parents are trying to do something about their, their kid, being in a relationship with somebody that's a lot older, you know, it's probably because the parents are a little bit embarrassed about it and they go, wow, I haven't really been a good parent. I haven't really been in my kid's life. Um, but you know, th the situation that this girl was telling me about reminded me of another situation that was involving this guy who used to work here, who was in a relationship with a 17 year old girl. And fucking her because you know men are stupid right um if you're fucking a girl if you're fucking anybody that is underage it doesn't matter if they're almost of age like their parents because they're their parents and like old school that that's that's what they're allowed to to do something about it if their kids are doing something they don't like they're they're allowed to get the state involved Okay? Um, but, uh... What the fuck are they doing? I fucking hate it when customers use parking spaces back here. 
Like, it just makes me so mad. Like, why are you back here? There are all these other parking spaces, and you choose to park right next to me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. You're looking at him! You're looking at it. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> but anyway. So, what was I saying? Parents. Parents! Yeah, so, so parents really aren't, like, they're not responsible for their kids. And I think that whenever they figure out that their kids are, like, doing something that they either don't agree with or they don't support or they're, you know, makes them really uncomfortable, then they, or they're like, oh, shit, oh, shit, I haven't been a parent this whole time. Now I need to do something. Now I need to act like I really care about my kid and get the state involved. Like, getting the state involved is, is not the way. Getting the state involved is never the way. I, don't, I just don't understand why people can't resolve these problems on their own, you know? It's like I feel, the, I feel like the reason why, why so many uh, corporations have so much power and, you know, really bad people, like, it's, it's literally because society doesn't know how to resolve problems on their own. So they, they literally pay other people to do that for them. You know, I mean, that's what the therapist is, right? Right? Well, anyway, you were talking about uh, Dennis. Dennis! Yeah, so Dennis, um, yeah, I, I think he was, like, in his 30s. I think he was, like, 30, 31 or something. And he, um, he was in a relationship with this girl who also worked here, who was, like, 17. And her parents found out about it, and made sure that his life was completely ruined by turning him in and saying that, that he was raping their daughter even though she chose to be in a relationship with him. That's the thing. The, I just don't agree with that. I don't agree with this idea that like people don't like choose situations that they put themselves in. You know? And so I, I don't look at it like, okay, just blame this person because they're always at fault. You know, very rarely is it just one person that's totally at fault, okay? Multiple people are involved in bad situations, okay? Very rarely is it just one person who's to blame, okay? But what's the solution? How about, how about just let's not talk to anybody. Let's not look at anybody. Let's not think about fucking. Let's not fuck. Let's not do that. Fucking is bad. Um, wait, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about how many, how many men are like in really terrible relationships with women that are like completely psychotic. And it's always because of the sex. Like it is, it is very rare that it is any other reason, okay? Because, you know, women don't get involved in bad relationships for the same reason that men get involved in bad relationships. If a woman is in a bad relationship, it's usually not because of the sex. It's because, you know, she loves the guy. And maybe she, she wants to think better of him. Or maybe she's just dumb, right? I mean, fuck. All kinds of possibilities, right? But anyway, there you go, Aaron. I did that for you.